Hey everybody, it's BC here, and this is Star Citizen. If you're unaware of this game, it's a game currently in development by a company called Roberts Space Industries. And what it is, it's an open world, uh, persistent universe. Uh, just think of GTA Online, but in space in a couple hundred years in the future. It's entirely open, uh, open-ended. You can do whatever you want in the game. If you want to go and do missions to earn money, you can do that. You can go go PvP, raid people, steal their ships and the cargo and all that stuff and or do trading or whatever. There's gonna be uh I think they said there's gonna be hundred and fifty star systems in the universe. Each system's gonna have its own planets and each planet's gonna have its own moons and so you'll be looking at like two thousand celestial bodies to explore. Uh, there's going to be a lot of things that you are going to add in the game. Uh, keep in mind this game is really early right now. It's still in alpha state. There's the elevator. And yeah, uh, there's a lot of different ships you can get. This just has, happens to be the Aurora. Uh, when you buy into the game, it's 45 bucks you get the Aurora or you can get the Mustang. Uh, there's other ships you can buy if you want to spend a little bit of money. Uh, you there's a lot of ships, to be quite honest, and some of them are amazing. Uh, a lot of upgrades you can actually do to it, and we're going to go check this out before we go head out to the universe. Um, uh, from what I've heard, there is going to be wipes every time they do updates, just like in, uh, in Hellion, if you have followed that series. But as you can see, as we go up, we start seeing these bleep blue nodes on the ships. And this is actually allows us to upgrade things. I don't know how well it's showing up, but this says turret gun, size one, and it says it's uh, some sort of laser cannon. Same with over there, I got ordnance up top. Uh, this one is the Aurora. That just happens to be a cargo hauler. As you can see, this is this is the ship. It's got an attachment in the back there for the cargo bay and whatnot. Uh, there is an in-game currency too. Um, if if you do decide you want to get into this, uh, they start you up with about 1,000, was it, United Earth Credits. Uh, if you sign up, there's a referral code in the uh, video description. I'll actually get you another 5,000 if you want. But let's actually, uh, let's leave the light on. We'll go inside the ship for a minute and just have a look. So as you can see, you uh, hold F, F to interact with the world. They call it choosing your inner thought. This is what this whole thing is. So I can open the ladder, open the doors, or enter the ship, and we'll just go right into the ship. Uh, the whole game is supposed to be seamless, like going from from station or a hangar on a planet up into the atmosphere, up into space, from one star system to the other, completely seamless, no loading screens or anything. But this is the inside of the Aurora, we can get into the cockpit here, but I don't think we can actually leave from here. This is sort of like a, a private offline area, we're not actually in the universe right now. Uh, as you can see, this ship also has a bed in it, and this is apparently is just a sleeping kind of go sleep in the bed, and then you can log off. It's supposed to save your progress, but apparently it's not fully implemented yet. So, uh, in order to save, I have to come back to any station, which is going to be the station we're going to be going into. So, with that being said, I'm going to do a cut here, and I'll bring you back when we're in the real world. And here we are in the real world. That was a little annoying. Uh, we started in our bed, we just hop out. Um, about the saving, as from what I from what I understand, uh, your location doesn't get saved, but uh, like any purchased items, any upgrades you do to your ship, your current currency gets saved. But I don't think the position in the universe actually uh, gets saved. Uh, apparently you're supposed to be able to do it with the bed and the ship, but Again, like I said, it may not be fully implemented. Uh, if another one I forgot to mention too, if you plan on plan on getting this game, having a solid state drive is a big, big must. It's not needed, but definitely required. It does require at least 40 gigs. Just so you're aware. But anyway, so let's go ahead into the thing on our wrist. This is called Moby Glass. And this is basically our whole menuing system right here. It shows our Guess uh, uh, our vitals, atmosphere, uh, tank supply. I don't know if these are actually implemented yet or not. Uh, there's my current current balance, crime stat. Uh, currently, I got no vehicle tracked because I have to have to find some place. Oh, it tells you how much oxygen you have remaining. Oh, that's interesting. And then yeah, so on and so forth. Uh, vehicle services. And anyways. So, let's get out of here, and 
No, I'm supposed to be finding some place to actually call my ship to. Uh, deck one. And this is... Where are we here? What was this place called again? Port something? P P Port Olisar. Uh, wait a minute, was that thing for my ship in here? Uh, what was it? Was it this one? Nope. No, that's just for supplies. So, I gotta find out where I'm supposed to go here. So let's go exploring. Uh, I think I was supposed to go down the other staircase there. Well, let's see what we have. So we're on deck three. Uh, you can also control how fast you walk by using the mouse button. Scroll all the way down, you walk slow. Scroll up, you can walk faster. Anyways, let's go down here and see what we can find. This is about as far as I've gotten. I got to see the big giant blue holographic sphere here, which is cool. So let's go check it out. Can we go in there? We can. Hello. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's get my ship. All right. Oh yeah. There we go. Let's retrieve my ship. B08. Alright, so uh, H to get out of here. Oh. Oh. There we go. So, where do I go? B08. B09, B10. Alright, B08. There we go. There's the Aurora. I have never flown this thing before, so I have no idea. What I am doing here. Uh. Ah, airlock. Now, I don't know if there's a way to be taking my helmet on or off or. Oh, my God. Oh, that's cool. That's beautiful. Look at that. That's just crazy. Let's go have a good look at this. Just imagine how long it would take to make, build something like this up here. Uh, gotta be careful about the fall off. Anyway. Let's go get our ship. Uh, one of the things you get too when you sign up is you get insurance, which is good for me because I have no idea how to fly this thing. Uh, as you notice too, when I run, my heart rate goes up. So how do I get to my ship? Oh, hello. Is this the right way? Turn the light on so I can actually see where I'm going. There's my ship. My light's not doing anything. Okay. Alright, let's crash this puppy. No idea what I'm doing here. So this could be very bad, especially being on a big expensive station like this. Alright, let's enter the pilot seat. I love this seat. No, where the whole thing just lifts right up. Alright. Now I know we gotta turn the power on here. That's our that's our shield. So let's see engines. That's our power. What else we got here? Okay, I guess that's open the doors. Engines on take off. Alright, what do I do here? Take off complete. Landing complete. Take off complete. Okay, I gotcha. 
Ah, I gotcha. Little touchy. I think I gotta adjust my controls here. Oh, I haven't crashed it yet. Okay. I guess there's no reverse. So used to hell, and I'm trying to. little sensitive yeah let's get away from the station somewhere safe definitely gotta adjust my uh, <sighs> sensitivity yeah let me uh, straighten this out here okay I think I sort of got things figured out I was also looking at my uh, Moby glass here. There's actually some contracts we can take on, uh, which are uh, where were they here? Right here. So let's see what we can do here. Black box recovery. Uh, fortunate accident. Uh, sure. Let's do it. Let's figure it out. All right, uh, and I'm assuming these blue circles here are other people around. I have no idea how to get to the map. Uh, there's a external camera of the ship, but you can't rotate the view as far as I know on this. No. All right, so now how do we find this mission we're looking for here, this contract? Let me see if I can find some sort of map here. All right, so I did figure it out. Uh, sort of trying to figure out the controls a little bit, and I think I'm slowly getting the hang of it. But anyways, that's where we got to go. Uh, as you can see, it's a long ways away, and I think it was B to use the quantum drive. Is that that was? Hang on. All right, well I'm back in the hangar, and I thought I had everything figured out, but I did not. Uh, there's a few things I didn't realize. Is one when you're using uh, the interact mode you can actually use the mouse wheel to zoom in and I did some looking around and figured out what these screens are all about uh, these screens are called MFDs or multi-function displays uh, you can change them any way you want uh, this one here just happens to be set to my weapon systems so this turns our my turrets on and off I don't know why that one's not being turned on probably maybe I don't have one. Oh, it's got to do with the, the power as you can see, as I turn it on, the power usage goes up, and that's about as much power as I have at the moment. Uh, this has to do with shields. Uh, if you choose the menu here, we can choose between energy. That's this one here. Uh, this triangle allows you to, fo you know, prioritize where the power goes. Whether you want your power to be more for the the, the weapons, or more for the shield, or more for the engine, or other way around, it tells you like your heat being generated. The, EM, I have no idea what that is, or the IR. Yes, I know I'm new to this. And then here is items that shows uh, different things we have on board and how much power they're actually using. Uh, I'd imagine this would be uh, temperature. I don't know what that number is. We'll figure that out as we go. And then we go in here and then we got our heat. And this is just basically heat management. Obviously, the more you use your engines and when using the engines, uh, I actually found out why I was going so slow because I had my uh, landing gear down and I'm sure a few of you probably already saw that and I didn't realize that until now. But as soon as I pulled those gears up, everything was going great. Until, um, until the reason why I'm back here. Uh, I kind of stopped what I was doing. I'll go in here, check the other ones out. That's the shields and then the weapons. But yeah, I was just out there. I was trying to figure out what I was doing and then uh, a ship raced past me and then stopped. It turned around. Then another ship came out of nowhere and turned around. And they fired off a couple of shots. And I figured, well, you know what? Let's just let's just get out of here. Let's not die the first episode. That's usually 
a habit of mine, but let's, we'll get out of that. But anyways, I think I'm going to call the episode here. I wanted to try to get into this, uh, try to explain it a little bit more. Uh, I don't know what this... I have no idea what that does. I guess that just opens the doors or opens the cargo bay or something. But anyways, I'm going to call this episode here. Uh, next episode, uh, we're going to get back out there and hop in a ship and see if we can try to do something without getting killed. We do have three months insurance, so it's not going to really matter. And I just remembered something. Got to shut her down. But anyways, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.